All right, so we're at the point where we have all these linker errors. They have the fully expanded symbols, which are not terribly helpful. Uh, and we need to do something about it. Now, the pound include is a preprocessor directive. It's shared by all compilers. And if you have headers and they uh, can be looked up uh, by the preprocessor directives, you're good to go. Libraries are only the tiniest bit more complicated. Now, one note about pragmas. These are very platform slash toolset specific. So some are shared by all compilers like Pragma ones to guard the includes. Uh, you will find that Clang, GCC, Visual Studio, they all, um, Visual C, the compiler, they all support it. Some become very, very compiler specific like Pragma warning is gonna be different on all platforms in example. The only reason I mentioned them is that because you could find a project that you get from somewhere else uh, to use them. And in that case, the project itself might be configured differently than what you would expect the vanilla project to be. Um, that's pretty much it. I don't think you need to know or use much more than that. Now, to get the linker working, we are finally done with VC++. That's the compiler settings. We should be good with that. We need to set up the linker. So in here, the first thing you want to do uh, is add a directory where additional dependencies, additional libraries can actually be found. And on top of that, you might need some that come from your system. And we'll look at that. And that's one of the reasons why I chose the footprint node. So if you look at the canned guides, most of the time you will find that they tell you go into your installation directory or wherever. Uh, if the text is tiny, don't worry. This is program file so to this Maya 2018 slash lib. So this is parallel to the include directory and it should come with your installation or if you're linking against the library that you've downloaded, it should come with the library set unless it's a headers only library. And in here you can find several .lib files. Again, if the text is tiny, don't worry. Most of the time they will tell you, look, just add foundation lib and add all the uh, open something libs and you're good to go. Now that is not always true to begin with. And the other thing is that this is unnecessarily fat. You don't, if you're not doing something that requires uh, Nucleus, the Dynamics Engine, you don't want to include OpenMyFX. If you don't need uh, the UI, don't include OpenMyAUI. Easiest way to do it is start fat and then start culling things until you find the minimum amount of stuff you need. Now, I will add the directory in there. Um, I'm not gonna compile it again because this will just fail exactly as we had before. Because this is just telling the system, hey, you can look for additional dependencies in here. But the next step is going into input and actually adding the names of the individual libs that you want. And let me look for a couple of notes I had. There you go. So the simplistic version of this is that uh, in here, you can go in edit if you want something visually richer. Uh, you can put in a return separated list or a semicolon separated list and in the evaluator you'll see, okay, I'm including OpenMaya, OpenMaya Render, OpenMaya UI Foundation. Now, most nodes and most plugins, in fact, you will probably get away with that list and be good. Uh, we should still have one error. So if I go build, you can see that the list of errors has been reduced drastically. We're down to five, um, but there's still an issue. They still link 2019. Um, and what it's telling me is that it's failing at a lot of M3D view. It's failing at a lot of OpenGL stuff. Now there's nowhere in the documentation, they, I believe they tell you any of these specifically, but the very simple matter here is that because this is a vp2 plugin you know which might require this environment variable will definitely need to draw and do stuff like that you will also need the opengl library to link against so what you have to do is pretty simple in here you will have to add open opengl 32 lib and this is not coming with maya this will come with your install and this is going to be very platform specific um, so yeah now if we do that now and I haven't tested, but I'm confident this should actually build in full. All right, one succeeded, zero failed. So we've done it. We finally built something. We should have our Maya DLL. This is still not gonna load in Maya, and we're gonna go over that next. 
but that's pretty much all you needed to know to um, understand the various steps of configuring something for building uh, for compilation and linkage. So on to the next part, which is going to be failing to load this in Maya and having a look at what the symbols actually are. <laughs>